And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mage Seeker Thresh for our next deck. Uh, this is one of my, uh, this is like a, a deck that I really like playing and this is uh, maybe my favorite Lux deck for those of y'all that are a big fan of Lux. Uh, we're basically combining these new Mage Seeker cards, well like they were updated you know a month and a half ago or whatever now so not necessarily new with some good control elements from Shadow Isles. Particularly, you know, we got Thresh as another great champion, but then, um, you know, got some some good control elements here. A real strength of our deck is having Rekindler. They can get back Lux or Thresh. Both of those are, are certainly worth seven mana and another four, four. Um, you know, like, so like Rekindler with Lux, like that's, that's really powerful. And Thresh can go find Lux. You know, if you can get a Thresh to level up, you can go put more Luxes into play. So like that's that's really like the power of our deck. Um, the new card that we have from our update for this deck is Unyielding Spirit. It's an eight mana spell, so it, it does cost six or more. So it triggers our Mage Seekers because you know we really want to cast a six plus cost spell for these Mage Seekers because then they get a whole lot better. One thing that's real important is this Mage Seeker Investigator creates Detains. Detain is real important against Demacia decks, like against Unyielding Spirit. Um, plus, if we if we have something that we unyielding spirit, then we can kind of safely detain our um, enemies, uh, you know, behind the um, ally that we have unyielding spirited. Uh, the the main thing that we want to do, like turn one, or sorry, turn like our first thing that we want to do in the game, usually turn three, we want to play remembrance. Um, we can, if we don't do anything turn one or turn two, Remembrance on turn three, then all of our Mage Seekers are turned on. So that's that's something that uh, we kind of look for whenever we're mulliganing. But um, this deck's pretty powerful. It's slow, but it is powerful. And um, I like it. We got a track Tracker and Protector in here, just basically because Tracker and Protector are really good, especially for their mana. It gives us something a little bit uh, to do early on in the game. But let's let's give this a try. So let's try out new Mage Seeker Thresh. We gotta get our, our rank back. When we just lost the Ezreal Karma. No, I I mean I don't I don't know if we auto lose to burn. Our deck can attack for a lot. Like Fairly quickly. Hey, there we go. We're facing burn, so we'll see if we auto lose or not. Awesome, awesome, dudes. How's how are you liking it? How are you liking the the Sejuani Frostbite deck? All right, so we're gonna have two, three. Keep that two drop, three drop. Um, what do you mean by is there a GM rank in this game? Oh no. Yeah, there is. Yeah, master rank has a number. Huh. Yeah, the the mid range matchup should be. Should be really, really good. Like you should be really favored in those those mid range matchups with that deck. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have my orders. You're covered. Yeah, maybe. 
maybe, yeah. I mean, yeah, it just sounds like you're on a, a rough streak with the deck. Um, which, of course, happens. I'll stop you. So this puts me down to nine. It sets up my Withering Whale, though. Certainly wish Withering Whale was a six mana spell. Backfired. I'll try anyone more. War Mason. Uh, for duty. That's a great combo. That's a great combo. Can we stabilize at eight? No, don't decimate. Looks like the answer is no. This thing attacks for six. If I play Investigator and Sergeant together, they will attack for six. We might as well do the thing that nets us two mana. So to our mages. Yeah, GG's. I only had 13 attack, they were at 14. But yeah, double double decimate finishes us off. That burn deck's really, really good. And that's why that's why today I'm playing um, all these health potions in these Ionia decks. Like we're playing seven total health potions today. Um Last matchup, we didn't see any burn, though. But yeah, like you saw there, like they just dealt 12 damage in you know, the last three turns. The 2-2 two, two drops together, dealt 4 damage, then decimate 4, then another decimate 4. Makes it tough to stabilize. Alright, so we're facing and Draven as... I think I just want to mulligan all of these. So I think this is like the same matchup, probably. We'll see. Puppy cam. My first big mission. What you doing? No. That's the one you really don't want to hit whenever. Um, you don't want to hit one of the other two whenever you don't have anything dead. Not sure what the better option is, playing the Bright Seal Protector and giving this a barrier or playing a 6-5. This route gives me the single combat as well. So I'm going with this route. We get both of those. For the Empire. 
Alright, paid off. With that single combat, it paid off. Saved for life. Next turn, we're going to be playing the Inciter with just five mana. Contain the arcane. And attacking for 11. Game's definitely not over. If they have just you know a handful of burn, nine is not unreasonable. It's not an unreasonable amount of burn for them to have. War Mason, reporting for duty. No. I will try to save two life. Draven down. Pay seven mana to <laughs> gain two life. like that, huh? It's gonna be like that. Wow. Hey, Cthulhu. Hello, hello. <sighs> Man, that's rough. All excited to play this deck, and we're just getting burned. Where, where? All right, at least we're not going to get burned this time. Maybe. All right, so my opponent's deck is a, like, they're certainly an unyielding spirit deck. Like, Vi and Fiora together, they're all about unyielding spirit. And so because of that, I, I'm keeping Mage Seeker Investigator, because creating a detain seems as important as ever against an unyielding spirit deck. Now, we do need to cast a six-mana spell to be able to do that. And so that's why we're keeping the Vanguard Sergeant to create the four Demacia, then we cast the four Demacia, then we get the Detain. We have to jump through some hoops here. Be easier if we just draw Remembrance. Alright, so 
I probably mulliganed incorrectly. Probably. I kind of thought there'd be more of like a a protect your stuff, play a slower game, like a Fiora, you know, that kind of Fiora Vi deck, and not necessarily a be real aggressive, just play by turn three, have two one drops and two two drops. And so I kept too slow of a hand. It's always awkward how, since we had something die, remember it's now cost five instead of six. No, I need that Radiant Guardian this time. Good aggressive hand here. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm probably gonna have to have Thresh block the Grizzled Ranger. I do have another Thresh in hand, and I've rekindled it, it brings back Thresh. Okay. Never mind. I was gonna say, like, if they had the, like, if they would have blocked my five five with three two. Okay. Interesting. Sure hope they don't have back to back. I guess if they do, that's only five, so I can I can fight. Okay. Which has any consideration for grasp with all this burn and aggro going on? Not really. There's probably something better than grasp the undying. I have like there's a couple withering whales, but Five mana spells are pretty rough in this deck, so you really need six mana spells. Oh, that's bad. No, I can't I can't single combat because of the, the barrier, so. Sure, we'll just have multiple repose. Yeah, I was thinking they're gonna be like slower and more protection based, but they had four one drops and two two drops on the first couple turns and then just played a Grizzled Ranger besides that. A little too aggressive. We still we couldn't quite stabilize though because of those reposts. <laughs> Man, talk about a what can go wrong will go wrong today. One in seven.
And now our third time playing Burn. I... I mean, so yeah, like, at the beginning... Okay, at the beginning of the Ezreal Karma deck, I talked about how there's just tons and tons of Burn around and why... Um, uh, health Potion is a really underplayed card right now. People need to play more Health Potion. And I'm playing seven total copies of Health Potion in my decks today. However, this deck does not have Health Potion, and so this is the deck that plays against Burn three times. Not my not my Ezreal Karma that was loaded up with Health Potions. We played Burn zero times. I don't know. I'm just kind of com complaining right now. I'm sorry. I did add in... Did add in some Radiant Guardians into this deck. As you can see, I did not have Radiant Guardians in this deck previously. survive to get to Radiant Guardian is the question. Will you comply? You can turn a Radiant Guardian into being a lifesteal thing and then unyielding spirit it. Seems like a good spot to be. If we can do that if we survive. So going this route, you know, like we would save a damage by blocking the Grenadier, but we would also take two. So we'd actually, so we would take one more damage by blocking the Grenadier, um, make it so we're at seven, and then a, you know, one decimate, and then a get excited would kill us at seven. At eight, it's harder for them to kill me before my Radiant Guardian attacks and does damage. Would have been great to have a single combat. It would also been nice to be able to play Thresh first so I could Thresh challenge over here, away from, from the Radiant Guardian, but I, but I can't really do that because if we play Thresh first, then they could play a Decimate and kill me. So we're basically forcing them to use a burn spell on their 3-1. Oh, no, only have that burn spell. Alright, so yeah, our deck's pretty weak against Burn. Looks like we're gonna face the, the bad matchups today. Ezreal Karma faced the same bad matchup three times, and now we're facing <laughs> the same Burn bad matchup three times. Glad you're back, QQ. I can't... I can't do anything. Doesn't seem like. Or, basically, like, every... like. So many of these games, like, I'm about to stabilize and the the opponent needs, you know, X to, to win, and they do. They have exactly that.
So what do you think about the fact that you can't go beyond your max HP? It makes it easier to play aggro in Legends of Runeterra. I don't, I don't think that has any effect on it, honestly. I don't think that has any effect. How often do you go to, like, actually or at your max HP at, like, you know, at 20 life, you know, on turn 3 or 4 or 5? I mean, I guess maybe not turn 3, but more like turn 4 or turn 5. How often are you at 20 and you wish you would have gained more, but you, you lose the game because you don't gain more? Like, that just never happens. If, you, if you're at 20 life at, like, turn 4 or 5, you're going to win. What, what games do you actually lose? Because you couldn't go above 20. I'm not sure how Hearthstone is, but knowing what your opponent's playing bef like with your mulligan decisions should, in theory, hurt a deck like Burn because um, you have the ability to see that they're playing a burn deck and, and mulligan towards your, your better cards against burn. Or they, the burn deck's really, really good though right now. Like they, They've reached you know, like the kind of critical number of cards they need to have um, to have a really good deck. Like there's there's 13 great burn cards, and you know you play three of each. That's that's 39 cards. And so all you have to do is just throw one you know one other random card in there. But it, their deck's really really consistent right now. Um, I was kind of planning on just on just trading here and being able to play a tough Radiant Guardian, but we don't really need that. Let's play Thresh instead. I've got your back. I want Thresh to lose three toughness. That's fine. Some days you have your days that, that like everything goes well for you and you know winning with all the decks and other days you have days where things are not going well. And this is just one of those days. It's okay. So far, but we can turn it around. We got lots of time. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn it around. I could see this being an unyielding spirit the on the Garen. could be good. My Thresh is close to leveling up. Break their ranks. 
a difficult turn. What do we want to do? All right, so I'm going to let Lux die and keep Thresh alive. This will keep us close to leveling up Thresh. And um, and then whenever we level up Thresh, then when Thresh attacks, we can put another a new Lux into play. I'd also have, I'd like to be able to put Lux into play with Rekindler. Like if I go the other way around, if I keep Lux alive, Thresh dying, it's like you get back Thresh, but then it's like uh, Thresh Thresh takes so long to level up. Um, obviously, I could just go just protect Thresh and not have Lux die. But then my final spark doesn't kill their Garen. I want... Okay. I wanted to get 5 damage on Garen and then try to final spark kill Garen. That was my plan. To get rid of Garen. We're gonna have eight, nine mana next turn. This is gonna be seven of it. Yeah, we'll play this. Any good decks against Demacia? I mean, yeah, I think the burn deck is good against Demacia. I think Demacia is a little slow. For burn deck. Oh wait, they don't have the mana for judgment. More lux. Alright! You got to see the power of our deck in the last game. We didn't get burned too fast. Too furious. One and four day. <laughs> January fourth. All right. Um. Yeah. Our our deck was weak against burn. It was. Um. There's certainly things you can change about that, but I think it's okay to have a kind of bad matchup. It's like we were cl we were really close to winning two of the, two of the three burn games, and we're really close to all three. I don't, I just don't remember exactly how the first one played out. Um. But the second and third, we were really close to winning. Um, but they they had the the cards they needed. I like this deck. I think I, I like this deck. I like playing this deck. I, I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad deck. We just went one and four. It just happens. Um, but yeah, you know it's, it's something. You know it's it's a fun deck to play with Lux. This is still my favorite Lux deck. Um, yeah, basically, if you're watching this this video later on, or you know, y'all watching here, uh, just because we went one four, don't think, oh man, that deck's not good. I'm not gonna try it. If if these are the kind of cards you like, if this looks kind of interesting, give this deck a try. This is this is a good deck, and I've had a lot of success with this deck uh, previously, and I was doing just fine with it earlier today. I've actually played played a couple of games with like all the decks we're playing today, except for the Karma has and. Yeah, I, I did just fine with this deck. I didn't, um, 
I don't remember if I played one or two games, but I didn't lose with it. Yeah, it's just, it happens. All right, uh, but that's it here for Mage Seeker Thrash. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.